What's going on everybody? This is Chris from Out West with Chris and today I'm going to be taking a look at this. This is Monster Bass, a fishing tackle subscription box if you will and it's a new one. This is their first uh, shipment out and I thought it was kind of interesting. In general, I think fishing subscription boxes are kind of dumb. They're not really for me and the primary reason for that is uh, I kind of know what patterns I like. I kind of know what brands I like. I, I've kind of gotten to the point where I buy the same things pretty much over and over. Every now and then I'll mix something in new to try something out. But nine times out of ten I throw a bait that I'm familiar with that I've thrown before. So fishing subscription boxes uh, like Lucky Tackle Box or Mystery Tackle Box, stuff like that, not really my cup of tea. And I don't really like unboxing videos of them. I, I think they're just a dime a dozen. Um, I think it's like that for most subscription boxes anyways anymore. But anyways, this is the first one. I thought that this company was kind of interesting, so I wanted to go ahead and give it a spin. One thing that you'll find they do differently is when you sign up, you, you put where you live. So uh, they break the country into, I think it was five specific regions, five or six, and then um, they say they have a pro, whatever that means. Um, pick out your baits for you for the for that month right based on your region now I don't know who the pro is for the western region um, I don't know it didn't say on their website but they listed a couple other people the other really interesting thing about this uh, service is that it was created by one of the founders of Lucky Tackle Box which is interesting there were two founders of Lucky Tackle Box two business partners I guess and I guess recently they had a little parting of ways, a little difference of opinion on how they wanted things to go. I think the split was amicable. It seemed like in what I had read about this. But one of the founders of Lucky Dagger Box started this, and one of his reasons was he wanted to put more high quality baits in here, not just the bargain bin stuff, not the house brands. Um, Lucky Tackle Box and Mystery Tackle Box kind of started going the route of a lot of self-branded um, baits and hooks and terminal tackle and um, that type of stuff in their box instead of the name brand stuff. Which if you kind of look at it in the whole subscription box like arena, there's definitely a trend. And, and you guys that are just into like the fishing subscription boxes aren't going to know a lot about this. but. There's a huge trend and a divide in that industry. Some companies build their boxes with, you know, really super high quality uh, gear, no house branded stuff, and some are just fully house branded. There's a company called Alpha Outpost. All that they put into their boxes is just knockoff crap from China that they put their, their logo on. Um, then there's a company like Battlebox who has developed their own house brands and some of the quality and some of that is questionable. And then they mix that into, you know, offerings from legitimate, you know, well-known companies. Um, then there's companies like Hunter's Hall and soon Angler's Hall, which they're just 100%, you know, name brand companies in there. They don't put any house stuff in it. Anyways, that's a long intro to this. I'm kind of excited to see what this is all about. I'm probably just going to do a few of these because I think for the most part, um, Lucky Tackle Box, Mystery Tackle Box, and probably Monster Bass boxes, um, you know, the, the unboxing of them is pretty boring. So, um, let's go ahead and open it up. So, a little uh, card, little note, kind of explaining the service. On the back, uh, some of the brands that you're going to see in this month's box. And um, already, I'm kind of looking at it, and I'm, I'm happy with what I'm seeing. You know, this is good. So, I don't think they put evaluation cards or anything like that in here. Um, that's fine. First off is a Daiichi hook. This is a 4 out hook. Um, they say they use these for, for wacky rigging. Um, I don't know, maybe, I, I, I don't know if I would use it for wacky rigging. I'm kind of a, a circle hook guy for wacky rigs. But uh, yeah, they, they look fine. Um, you could, could use these for a variety of different things. So, all right. Next up from Z-Man, we've got uh, some Ned Rig heads. And these are 1 10th ounce heads. And these are freaking money. These are great. You can do a lot of different stuff 
with a, a Ned Rig mushroom jig head or whatever they're called. Um, and these hold up, they're pretty good. So that's awesome. Stoked. Now we'll move on to the soft plastics and we'll stick with uh, Z-Man. Uh, these are the TRD Ticklers, so they're like uh, the smaller TRDs, and they've got like little, here, let's just open them up. And then they got the the little little things on them, you know what I mean? They have another one, uh, it's longer, I forget what they're called, they're like a, uh, I can't remember, I really can't remember. Shoot. Anyways, um, the nice thing about these, of course, is that they're elastic, they never freaking break. Well, they break, but you know, you can catch so many fish on Elastec. They just hold up so well. So you could pair those two and probably smack the crap out of some fish. Th that's stuff that'll totally work out here in the West and in a lot of our clear water reservoirs and stuff like that. Um, totally makes sense to have uh, this type of thing in this box. Next up, another soft plastic that totally makes sense to have out here in the West. Uh, what color is this? This is the Green Pumpkin, of course. Green Pumpkin is a great color. These are the Rage Crawls from Strike King and a uh, great trailer. The, these are great. You can flip them bare, you can flip them on a jig, you can you know, break off sections to make it more compact or keep it nice and long. Um, yeah, this is perfect. Green Pumpkin is a great color for the Delta. Um, these get used a lot out on the California Delta, up in Clear Lake, all over the place. So, uh, this is great for this box. The next one, I, I don't know much about this company. I've never thrown any of these baits before. I've seen them. They seem kind of gimmicky to me. I don't know. It's, uh, from Smart Baits. And these are the color changing um, lures and, and it's a beaver so I don't know so evidently color the water temperature initiates color change it's like those shirts you used to wear when you were a little kid I don't know some of you might be too young to remember that but um, when they get water on them or they get hot they change color well I guess these kind of do the same thing seems pretty gimmicky to me but in the end, it's it's a small beaver style bait, so it'll probably catch fish. Uh, not necessarily the color I would use, but who knows what color it changes to, so. Interesting. This looks really nice. Uh, these are from Doomsday Tackle. And these bad boys here are their Sea Shad. And it's a three inch, small little, Shad, oh gosh, man, you could do a lot of stuff with that. Look at that. So you could put that on a jig head. You could put that, it says you could put it on drop shot, and man, I totally could see that happening. Um, you could nose hook that on a drop shot and just do some damage. That is a pretty cool looking bait. I've never used one of these before. In fact, I've never used anything from Doomsday Tackle before but I think I will keep this around and try it out. All right, so now moving on to the hard baits, we go to this right here. This is the original, the Bill Lewis Rattle Trap. Awesome, a little lipless action. And this one is kind of like a wounded shad, a black chrome um, bleeding shad. It's got the red hooks on it. Um, pretty cool. This will definitely do some work out there. And then uh, an item from Live Target. You know, I've never been a fan, a huge fan of Live Target. It's not that I dislike it, it's just like, I, I don't know, I haven't really used it a whole lot. So um, this is part of their Bait Ball series. It's supposed to be, supposed to mimic a few different fish swimming together in a, in a little bait ball, so. All right, um, you know, it's a, it's a crankbait. It will dive to 12 feet or so. And, uh, you know, you can see this working out there as well, actually. So, um, we'll see. All right, the next one, this is cool. It's, you're gonna be like, why is this so cool? Here you go. Uh, this is from War Eagle, and this is a, a buzz bait. And this is a three quarter, three eighths ounce buzz bait. The cool thing about it is it's black and chartreuse. And a lot of times, 
it just seems like um, a lot of companies only focus on the whites, the chartreuse and whites, the bluegill patterns, and they they don't ever you don't see them put out too many of the purple and blacks, the blue and blacks. You know, the stuff that's great for fishing in the, the evening, right at sunset and right after sunset. And a chartreuse in black. I don't think I've ever seen one before. But that would be great for the really low light hours when um, fish aren't really seeing colors. They're seeing shapes, silhouettes on top of the water and water disturbance. But... Uh, this is going to be pretty cool to use out on the California Delta, and I'm pretty sure we can catch fish with this. So, yeah, I'm a big fan of War Eagle, actually. Um, there's a couple different brands of spinner baits and buzz baits that I really like. War Eagle's one, um, Advantage Baits is one of those. Um, I've been really getting into their spinner baits, and I, I really, really like them. They also make some great bladed jigs. Um, but,. War Eagle has always been one of my favorite spinnerbait brands. Um, I've caught a lot of fish on War Eagle spinnerbaits. So um, I've never thrown a War Eagle buzz bait, but that'll change soon. Okay, so here are some of the details. Uh, this box cost me $35. Shipping is included in that. You don't pay anything extra for shipping. Um, they say they make canceling very easy, and I will be testing that out in about two months. I'm going to do a few of these. Um, I'm going to try to do some on the water. Um, reviews or openings, that type of thing, uh, if I can ever get on the water again. So that's that. Um, $35, I think you got your money's worth if you're going to find use in all those. I think the only thing that I probably won't get a ton of use out of is that beaver. I just kind of think that those are kind of hokey. Um, the other soft plastics, I'll definitely get use out of uh, and I'll try um, those shad thingy mabobbers from Doomsday. Um, the hooks, the Daiichi hooks, I really don't use that style of hook to wacky rig with. Um, I use something totally different. But that doesn't mean I can't try to wacky rig off of that. Uh, you know, it'll work. It's a hook. So, anyways, uh, that's that. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more monster bass, if you're interested in that, um, comment down below. If you guys have ever used those smart baits, the color changing ones before, and uh, you know you think I should, you know, give them a shot and flip with those and stuff like that, you know, let me know. Let me know what you think about them. Um, if you're sponsored by them and you're letting me know, that don't count. That just that just doesn't count. So, all right, guys, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for getting out with us, Chris.